Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This stage, but if you already haven't known, yes, I'm in the same outfit for the third motherfucking time. So, cause I'm, I can't let my makeup go to waste. I'm sorry. You know, I just can't. When you have videos off the ass, you can't let your videos go to waste. But I am excited because I'm going to be talking to you guys about what's been going on with me. I know I've been doing a lot of life updates, but they are very, very, they're basically a part of me. And I just want you guys to know what's been going on, what's been happening. I have done life updates bef um, before I deleted all my other videos, you know, four years ago, um, ugh, two years ago. But I will say is that I am growing and just making videos and just posting them because I love them. <laughs> that I've been doing this for a while and I was like, might as well just post videos like I want to post videos. Not post videos because it's for you guys' inconvenience. If you guys want to subscribe, you guys want to subscribe. I do say subscribe to my channel, but if you guys want to subscribe, subscribe. If you guys want to join the... I'm hungry. If you guys want to join the team, join the team. Join the team. Join officially team your belt. Okay? And... But yeah, I been dealing with a lot. Dealing with a lot. Um like in all my videos that you guys have seen in the past couple of days, um, which just would be I don't know when I'm gonna post this one, but in all the videos that you have seen in the past couple of days, I have been going through a lot especially with my laptop my laptop has been was messing up because I have my lot I have been having I have my laptop for almost nine years and it was just my MacBook Pro I love it I'm about to show you to you I love my laptop this has been my laptop for almost nine years this is the 2013-12 MacBook Pro and I had it ever since this is my baby until I get a new one, which I can't really say that so closely because, you know, it has issues. Okay, I'm just saying, this is a baby. Okay, it has their own feelings. I'm just saying, it's a mess. <laughs> but yeah, my laptop just has feelings. Um, and I've been through a lot with this laptop. And I'm not the type of person who will get a laptop because I have money. I don't have money like that. I got bills to pay. I got a lot of things I have to do, especially when it comes to my mindset. Um, I have a lot of things on my mind that is that needs to be decluttered, like how I just decluttered my room. Check that out. Check that video. It's right here. <laughs> but I have been going through a lot when it comes to just, you know, working in retail. I've been working in retail on and off for eight years. And it's not, it's not a good feeling. <laughs> It's just not a good feeling. When you're just so focused on your career, you do not really too fond of your where you work now. I love Ann Taylor. I love working at Ann Taylor. I love the people that I'm with. They make me so happy. It's like a breath it's like a breath of fresh air. When leaving New York and company made me feel like I wasn't nothing and um, when you get into another workplace you want to feel like you're a whole you want to feel like people accept you you want to feel like people really do cherish you as an individual not just because of your skin color that's because of how you are not because of your of what you bring to the table it's just how you are as a person and until it basically brought me in with their you know with open arms and I really do respect everybody that has loved me and care for me and brought me in because if it wasn't for Ann Taylor, I think I will literally be dead. I think I will literally basically will be dead because once leaving New York and Company, which being there for three years, I just didn't know where to go. I was so hurt and so heartbroken and annoyed and frustrated and just pissed the fuck off that I just really wanted to just go 
I, I was just tired of asking people for money. It was just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And it was like, yo, I'm so not okay. Like, I had to literally say that to myself. My body shut down a lot because I worked. And they can't say anything to me when it comes to that. I was a hard worker. And that is the fact. Everybody that knows me, that worked with me in a retail store, knows that I bust my ass and I do a lot to make my body sick and when you do that to a person and then you end up throwing them away and not give them them an actual reason like literally sitting them down and tell them this is the reason why I'm letting you go you just like throw them to the basically the dogs it basically shows you as a person like, wow, this is how you treat me? Cool. And that's how it was. <sighs> Being an entailer gave me a better focus on my career. I, I never focused on my career of how I am focused on my career now. I would be going to school, but I also be filming my movie I will also be working on projects I will also be making sure that I'm getting paid making sure I get internships going on <coughs> excuse me making sure that my mom and my nieces are good like me myself and I my career and my family comes first that's my man too but me myself and I my family and my career will always come first before I even pick my job I'm only working just to try to get to where I need to be financially, if that makes sense. Um, I have debit, I have credit cards that I have to pay. I have a, I have school that I have to pay. Um, I have loans that I have to pay. Um, I need to be in a better state of mind. I love my man. I love my friends. I took, I took, I took months away from my friends. Because I was just naturally in the funk where I do not need to be bothered. I just lost a child. Well, basically a pregnancy. And no one wasn't really listening to me. No one wasn't really giving me the benefit of doubt when it came to my body. This is my third pregnancy. I have lost. I also had a miscarriage five years ago. Well, five years ago. And... A lot takes a toll on your body, especially when you work. When you work, 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 no sleep. You take about five to six hours of sleep, get back up, go to work from nine to a certain time, then go back home and you have to close the next day. You wake up, you have to be at, be, at a, be out at a certain time, go to work, get home around 1030, go back to sleep. Do, and you're doing rounds like that. That just destroys your body and how your body functions and my body couldn't handle it so when I did leave when I did got um let go my body shut down the moment it um chronologically legit like like said in this brain wait she ain't gonna work today she's supposed to work today she ain't gonna work and then when I go back to when I literally will turn around because my body's waking up to tell me to go back go to you have work today and I'm like, and I go, I turn back around and face the wall and I get comfortable and I fall back to sleep. Chronologically, my brain is saying, nah, wake up. And it's waking me up. And I'm literally saying, no, my brain is literally saying, wait, you're supposed to be working today. But my body is like, okay, wait, it's shut. Is, is my body really actually saying no? And that's when my brain would literally shut down and my brain shut down like I would be sleeping until three four in the afternoon that's basically saying that it was it needed sleep and no one will understand that until you are in my shoes um and I've been in the spectrum of that of suicide and Anxiety literally taking a toll and saying, fuck it, take me. But 
Jehovah God has plans for me that my sister I know for for a fact is basically telling Jehovah God just let her go through it and I feel that energy I feel that energy every day when I know that if I'm going through something I scream and I cry in my room and I literally say I miss you I need you here with me like and I know she's there She's not as vivid as she used to be, but I know she's there. I sense her every September, every October when we put her to rest. And I know she's I know she's there. I know she's around her daughters. I know she's around her mother and I know she's around me. I know it. If I didn't sense her, I wouldn't sense my cats who have passed away um, a year before her. Um, and I know they're there because when I do cry about Maya Shawnee, my first cat, and when I do cry about Alyssa, my second cat, but when I mostly cry about Shawnee, which I do have a picture of a gray cat that's on my wall right now, I feel Shawnee's presence, which is a different feeling. I feel her. I, I feel her presence when I cry to her because it's like they they left too soon and my sister left too soon and I'm I'm just I'm just tired I'm hungry right now as you can hear in my, my stomach but I miss my I miss my sisters I miss my cat I miss my sister I miss my cats and no one understand how I will feel um I, when I went to the hospital for my anxiety attack my boyfriend was there he is a witness. One of the doc, one of the nurses, basically said that I don't know why she's here. She's holding up the freaking room. Anxiety is nothing. Anxiety can kill you. And when I did shut off, I shut off to one of the nurses, and she's like, "I'm gonna, you know, do your eye exam." And I really did say to her, and I really did say to the doctor, I was just like, "I don't feel respected here because of my anxiety." This is a real, real illness. People don't understand that anxiety is an illness. Anxiety, anxiety can really kill you. I definitely posted something on my um, Snapchat that I will post right here that anxiety can kill you. And it basically tells you 100%. Do not tell someone to chill out, to relax when they are going through a mental illness. You do not tell a blind person. Oh, relax. You, you know, one of these days, go get, you know, go get LASIK eye surgery. Go get some surgery. You'll be fine. You don't tell someone that. You don't tell, you know, a gay person to relax, come out the closet, you'll be fine. No, it doesn't work like that because I didn't look at that. You don't know anybody else's story. You know why they didn't sit down and actually grieve. There was no time for me to grieve. I had to make sure my mom was good. I had to make sure my nieces was good. No one really give, really didn't give two shits to me. Everybody can say they did. They have. Everybody can say, oh no, we we know no because you didn't. Because if you did, you would have been like, you know, are you good? No one asked me if I was good. And that's the reason why I can say is that I wanted to go. But the people that who kept me alive was my was my nieces, um, my man, my girlfriends, you know. And just because you say you just because you say I got friends, is that you can still be alone. And I still feel alone because I don't have I haven't filled up that piece. I don't love myself. Like basically my physically my physical body. It's not because my boyfriend doesn't say. I'm beautiful things like that. It's just because, like, for me, I was a different size. I think I loved the size I was when my sister passed away than the size I basically gained back. I was 198 pounds because I ran track. When my sister passed away, I went down to 125. And I gained all that. I gained all my 198 pounds back. I'm 170, 180 something now, but I'm still trying to lose it lose the weight but I'm just physically unable to do that because I'm stressed and this doesn't look like I'm stressed out it's because I put makeup on and I'm good and you see me in videos and you see how I interact it's not just because of that it's just because I'm holding a lot of things in 
and a lot of mediums, a lot of psychics, a lot of people, a lot of everybody have said to me when I was working in your company and also before that is saying like, I'm going to break. One of these days I'm going to break down. One of these days I, I feel it. I broke down the other day, like a couple of weeks ago, and I just broke. And I, I had to stop myself from literally crying and fall asleep. And I was off the next day, but I had to literally force myself to fall asleep and stop from crying because I knew it was going to be that time that I was going to fully go to the hospital and I had to stop myself from crying. And when you stop yourself from crying, that basically means that at any given point, you're going to fully break. And I know for a fact I'm going to break on my birthday. Because my sister died at 26. We buried her October 12th. My birthday is the 16th of October. Um, I know I'm going to break around those days. And I'm trying to prepare myself for that. But I'm also preparing myself for a breakdown. And... I'm not saying I'm ready for it, which I'm not. I'm just ready for a reborn, to be reborn. I'm ready for a new beginning, which I do feel that's coming. I just feel like once I break down, I just know I'm going to go into a path where I do feel good about myself, but I do feel I'm going to shut down again. And I don't want that. So... I just want to say that I'm okay for now. I'm just alone. People have to understand is that anxiety is a mental illness. You can't really, if you go through that, I lost a, I lost a best friend. I lost a person that been there for me. I lost a person that basically protect me from every single person that I called as a demon. I she was my angel she kept me from a lot she made me feel so sane and made me feel accepted in the family and um even when i don't feel accepted i never felt like i was accepted growing up and That's something that a child should never feel like. A child should never feel like they're not accepted. And I never felt like I'm accepted. Um, to this day. And um, when losing three pregnancies and having a miscarriage is kind of like, okay, what the fuck's going on with my body? And, um, no one can't change that. And I just want people to know is that I'm just I'm just tired, but I'm okay. <laughs> I'm okay. Um, and a lot of people will say like when people say oh they're then they're okay they're not okay, which is the truth. But mentally I'm alone. Mentally I don't feel accepted. Mentally. I feel like I'm a burden mentally. I feel like I'm not, I don't belong in this world. Mentally, I feel hated. Mentally, I feel a lot. I feel a lot of pain and Trust me, this is not a cry for help. It's just, this is how I feel. And I just want people to understand that I'm just trying to take it day by day. But it's going to take a while. You know, even when I do have kids, I'm just going to try. It's going to it's gonna be a lot to the point where I'm going to be scared. Because if I did, if I was ever to get pregnant, I think I will literally shut everybody out. And, um, be in my own bubble, which I'm fine with that. I think I will literally keep certain people around me and certain people out. And that's how I feel right now. Like, that's like literally how I feel right now. 
if I was ever to get pregnant, I think I would literally shut everybody out and just be with my baby <laughs> and just block everybody out and just continue with my life. Yeah, um, that's all I have to say, you guys, and I'm trying not to cry. Um, that's all I have to say, and this is like a, this is a life update. It's just a random life update. I don't know what I'm going to title this, but, um, for the people that stayed with me, thank you. I will be posting every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. It's gonna be a lot of videos that's gonna be coming up and if you are ride or die you know I do videos with the same outfit every time I want to keep my makeup on for a long period of time until I feel like taking it off which I'm gonna take it off after this video because I'm gonna take this some card and go edit this video these videos and um, yeah Please check out all the videos I posted on my description box below and also the suggestion box up here. And um, yeah, I love you guys so much. Thumbs up this video. Subscribe to my channel if you already haven't. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm Tanisha Bell. And um, yeah, stay blessed. I love you guys so much. And peace out.